my fitness before I joined was probably non-existent. Uh, I used to go to the gym with my nephew and he was the only thing that made me get out of bed in the morning but you have to be really motivated to do that. Um, and I've never been really good with exercise. I love it when I start, but I find it really difficult to um, get motivated and keep doing it. So for me, this was perfect because you're in a room full of people who've all got the same goal. Um, you've got someone who is constantly driving you, making sure you don't slacken off, which is what it's all about. And the best thing is it's only 30 minutes or 40 minutes. So um, you haven't got to think, oh God, it's an hour. It's literally 40 minutes of your life where you're just really going for it and then it's done, so how bad can it be? That, that's just immeasurable. I mean, um, I had a problem with my knee, so I used to have to make sure I came down the stairs on the right leg, otherwise I felt like I was gonna give way, and I just felt like everything was starting to ache a bit. And, you know, as ladies know, when you get past a certain age, it gets quite difficult to, you know, you can sit on the sofa for too long and you have to get up and everything kind of aches a bit, but literally, all of that stopped. When I started coming here, probably within about three weeks, I suddenly thought, oh, I don't, my knees don't ache, and this doesn't hurt, and that doesn't ache anymore. And some of that was due to getting some of the weight off, which obviously helps. Um, but a lot of it was the fact that if you don't move your joints, then they're going to seize up. It's, it's the way of the world. And so it, that, for me, was a really, um, a really big help and, and changed my life you know, considerably, really. I think it's having other people there, obviously the accountability, which Anthony talks about a lot, that, that's a big thing. Um, you can't just go off and do it in secret and cheat yourself because that's all you're doing at the end of the day. And I've, I've spent 50 odd years of doing that or 30 odd years of doing that. Um, you, you basically go, yes, I'll start tomorrow or it's not so bad, I'll make it come right tomorrow. And of course you never do because tomorrow never comes, it goes on and on and on. Whereas when you've got people who are in here who are all fighting for the same goal, they're all trying to get fitter, they're all trying to get healthier, um, you feel like it's not just you you're letting down, you feel like you're part of a team and I think that's something that I wasn't prepared for either. I wasn't prepared for how that made me feel and I think a lot of people would say that. So the biggest changes is I eat food, which seems ridiculous and Anthony Hart and I had this conversation and he was really funny when I started because I said I don't eat breakfast, never had, you know, I'm 50 odd years old, I've never eaten breakfast, it's never going to happen and he went, yeah, okay, fine, you know, let me get on with it for a a few weeks let me settle in before we got heavy and then he said no you have to eat breakfast this isn't going to work for you you know you, you can't just keep doing this and I would go to four o'clock without any food and then eat my entire calorie intake at the end of the day and wonder why I found it hard to lose weight and why you know I was listless and all the rest of it so I thought well if I'm going to do this and I'm going to pay to come there's no point not listening to the boss I might as well do as I'm told not something I'm very good at but I thought I may as well give it a go so I started having my um, protein uh, shakes for breakfast I started having lunch, I started having snacks if I wanted them and started eating healthily in the evening. And that for me was the biggest change because I was a real disbeliever of it and I thought this isn't going to work and I'm going to be the first person in the world to tell him that he's wrong, uh, but I couldn't do that. Because actually everyone who's known me for most of my life said I've never seen you eat so much. I mean at work they used to say to me, are you going to come down and sniff food? Because that's, that's what I used to do, I just used to sit there when everyone else ate. Um, and now they're seeing me eating, you know, I'm going on business trips and they'll see me at breakfast, they'll see me have some lunch. And actually I lost weight and that was the biggest thing for me because I thought, you know, you think you get to a certain age and you know everything and I've realised I don't. Um, and I think that was, that's the biggest, biggest change for me is being able to be what I call normal. Because I always thought I was unusual and I was the only person in the world that couldn't be the same as everybody else. And I think you just have to trust it and take that leap.